Leroy's Pokemon Black and White 2 Walkthrough, Part 65. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Plasma Frigate. And our mission today is going to be to tackle this little pipe maze and get the password that helps us get past the electrical barriers blocking our path. Um, if you're playing White 2 version, this is done a little bit differently. Now, some small differences are like this doctor's on the other side, one of the items is different, but the main difference is that in White 2 version, all these squares down here are gonna have, um, warp panels, right? And some of these warp panels bring you to another room where you can step on a switch to deactivate the electrical barriers. To do that, you'll want to go to the top right square and the top left square, as well as these squares in the middle. Those four spots will bring you to the switches that deactivate the barriers. In Black 2 version, it's a little bit different. We need to get the password. So we'll start off by facing this trainer. And uh, she says, I have what you want. But if you want it, you know, don't you battle me. So at some point, you're going to have to battle this trainer in Black 2 version. Very important, because she has something that we need. So yeah, in Black 2, you need to get the passwords. In White 2, you need to deactivate the switches, right? Um, this is flipped. Earlier on in Black 2, we stepped on the switches, deactivated the barriers. Earlier on in White 2, you already did the password nonsense. So they just flip them around to add some variety in the two games. Um, pretty easy to figure both of them out though, it's not too tough. So yeah, Trubbish goes down really easily. She also has a Zangoose on her team. So I'll stay in for this. And let's go with another Psychic. Now, Zangoose actually does have X-Scissor, which is super effective against me. And there's a Swords Dance to boost its attack. Yeah, already had a really high attack in the first place, but we'll see how much this does. Zangoose is an awesome Pokemon, I always liked it. And there's the X-Scissor with double the attack. Yikes. Oh, but look at that, Claydol's gonna take it like a boss. Wow, you'd think he has some good defense or something, man. Um, yeah, there we go. We took down Zangoose. And now we get, uh, we get to see what this Team Plasma Grunt has that we need so badly. Alright, so she's gonna give us a very important item. I don't know why she gives us this. This is literally the only way we can make it through the frigate. It's the Plasma card. You need this to enter the password to actually progress further through the game. Like, why would they give a random Grunt this very important plasma card. If she's just gonna hand it out to intruders, like, why not give it to the most important powerful guy and make sure that no one gets their hands on it, right? But, uh, since this guy's a free healing spot, you might as well use him whenever you go across, um, in his path. And yeah, so, basically, now that we have this plasma card, I'll try to get back to the front so I can show you guys. Um, but now that we have this plasma card, we can enter the password. Now, it's a little bit tricky, um, the password is gonna be different every time you play the game. There's no one password that works every time, so there's no way I can know what it is. Um, typically it will be Zekrom or Reshiram. I've heard people say Curum can be a password, I've never personally had that be the password. Or it can be a random combination of numbers like 1101, 2202, 3303, 4404, all the way to 9909. Right, so you can get Zekrom, Reshiram, maybe Curum. Y'all should confirm that for me in the comments. Um, or it can be the number password. Now, how do we figure this out? Well, we start by going on the other side of the hallway so we can actually get down there. But the Team Plasma grunts down here will all give you clues on the password. So essentially, just start fighting Plasma grunts, get their little hints for the password, and eventually you should be able to figure it out. Now, um, it's kind of confusing with these pipes because they all open and close different paths, but it looks like, um, this isn't really gonna get me anywhere, so let's go back up and try this again the right way! Let's step on that. Alrighty then, we can now actually go fight that trainer, so... Yeah, let's get to it, man! I know you've got some good hints for me for the password. Um, so yeah, and I guess I'm just gonna keep training my clay all up, because he's doing a pretty good job. Um, here we go, another female Plasma Grunt! She only has one Pokemon though, it's a Scolipede! Alright, so... Pretty fast Pokemon here. Um, Poison and Bug type, so I'll use a Psychic on it, that's super effective. Um, yeah, let's do it. He's gonna use Agility. It's kind of funny that, like, exclusively fast Pokemon use Agility. Like, you're already fast enough, man, why do you gotta do that even more? 
Now, you'd think slower Pokemon would want to have agility, but typically all the really fast Pokemon already have it, so... Yeah, that'll get me up to level 48, though. Muy excelente. And my attack got plus zero, but that's fine. I don't really need attack stat on Claydol. Um, so let's get this password hint. Enter whatever you like. For your information, my favorite Pokemon is a Dragon type. All right, so that is going to eliminate the number passwords. That means it's going to be Zekrom or Reshiram, or perhaps Kyurem, if there's any truth to that being a possible password, which I wouldn't really doubt. Um, but we gotta fight some more guys to figure out which dragon it is, right? So, let's see which ones are open here. Let's do this. And, um, yeah, I can go loop around to the other side now. Because I am stuck, man! Just jump across! I know you can do it! No, he can't. And I didn't fight this guy, I don't really want to. My levels are kind of getting really high, so I'm gonna slow down on possibly fighting every Plasma Grunt. Because I don't really need to get at any higher of a level than I already am at. So let's fight this guy now. I know you've got some useful hints for me. Team Plasma will rule the Unova region. Hand over your Pokemon to me. Okay, man, here you go. I've came this far. Why even try anymore? But uh, yeah, here's a Plasma Grunt. Who I know can help me out with this password. I mean, why do these guys give me the hints to the password? If they all just kept their mouths shut, I would never, like, interfere with their plans. I mean, they gave me the plasma card, now they're telling me hints. And seriously, these guys are horrible villains. They're all just letting me go through, right? Um, yeah, this Grimer gives me no trouble. Earth Power takes care of it. And let's see, what else you got? Ooh, some Viper. All right, let's stay in then. Ground types doing an excellent job against the poisons here, so another one of those ought to do it. Let's take this Saviper out. Yeah, I like how they have a lot of the really cool third gen Pokemon, like Zangoose and Saviper, up here on Team Plasma. Some really cool Pokemon. Alright, so what? You can actually draw power from your Pokemon? Yeah, dude, obviously. Alright, he's gonna accept his defeat and give me a hint. The first letter of the password is Z! So with that said, we know that the password has to be Zekrom. So really, I don't need to fight these other guys. Um, I already know the password. I don't need any more clues. So let's actually go ahead and grab that item down there, though. I want to make sure I get that. Um, it's actually kind of a cool item. It's going to be different in Black 2 and White 2 version. Um, but we are going to get the Power Band. Now this is actually one of the most complicated items in the game because a lot of people don't understand effort values. Um, if you put the Power Band on your Pokémon, in battle their speed will be halved. It's just temporary for in battle if that item is on them. But in turn, every time you get experience points, you get four extra special defense effort values. So over time, you bulk up your special defense like crazy by sacrificing half of your speed in battle. And then you can take it off whenever, whenever you want to get your speed back to normal, and then you'll lose the special defense effort value boosts. Um, in White 2 version, you'll get the Power Belt instead, which will do the same thing with defense rather than special defense, right? So, those items there can help out your defensive Pokémon quite a bit if you put them on them. Alright, so yeah, Doc is gonna heal me up, and now let's try to get back to the front of this place. Which might actually be a little bit harder than I'd hope. But, um, let's see, go across here, and, oh, yeah, there it is. There we go! So, we have our password, it is Zekrom. Um, now you actually have to spell it in on your own, so make sure you don't suck at typing. Look up the spelling for Zekrom, which is Z-E-K-R-O-M. Um, then Reshiram would be R-E-S-H-I-R-A-M. And then, of course, the number ones are pretty easy to figure out. Um, so yeah, there we go, barriers deactivated, we can now go through! And there it is, Kyurem, but no, it's Zinzelin again. Oh yeah, of course we'd be seeing you again. He's like, you don't know how to quit, but it's time to put this to an end now. So as soon as you take down those barriers, Zinzelin will challenge you to a battle, which I actually kind of forgot about. I didn't want Claydol in the front of my party. Um, he will start with Cryogonal though. Once again, he has the same team, only a level higher actually, so... Yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle with Zinzelin, and Claydol, you can't really do much to Cryogonal, so I'll use Self-Destruct. Why not, right? Self-Destruct, blow up in his face, and that should knock him out. 
Um, he's gonna confuse me though, which is interesting. So I'm gonna hit myself in confusion. I'm gonna use a self-destruct on myself, which only does like 10 hit points. That makes sense, right? Well, yeah, good thing I didn't actually blow myself up. I was confused enough that I didn't commit suicide, but oh, I'm already snapped out of confusion. So self-destruct will um, take down this cryogonal. And the reason for that is because cryogonal has really bad defense. Insanely high special defense, which isn't good news for Claydol, but really bad defense. So I'll send in Pinsir now. That's who I initially wanted up front, but that's fine. Claydol was able to be a kamikaze and take down the first one. So I'll use an X scissor. Um, they do like to put up light screens, so really I would avoid special attacks. Unless that's your only super effective move, like a flamethrower or something, but... You know, fighting works really well, rock works really well, those are typically physical attacks that, um, yeah, take advantage of Cryagonal's really low defense stat. So his last Pokemon is gonna be Weavile. Yeah, we've seen it before, it's at level 51 now, a Dark and Ice type. Really fast, really high attack, but pretty bad um, defense and special defense, so easy to put damage on. I already got an attack boost, so I'm not worried about not getting a one-hit KO. Um, and superpower is four times effective, so... Yeah, as long as you can take a Night Slash, you should be set. Fighting is the best way to go, four times effective. And that will be the end of Weavile. So, uh, my stats get lowered a bit, but that's okay, the battle's over! And we took down Zinzalin once again! So yeah, how many times is that now, Zinzalin, that I've beaten you? Yeah, like three or four, right? So, Zinzalin is finally done with! We can move on! Yeah, and a whole lot of money thanks to my amulet coin. He backs away. Beaten again! You act surprised. But he says Team Plasma will get the last laugh, so apparently we're not done yet, and we still have Curum to worry about. Now this guy right here says if you intend to continue, step on the other warp panel. But keep in mind, you're gonna get beaten up if you do! So yeah, Zinzalin really isn't that big of a deal. We have bigger and badder things to worry about as soon as we step across that warp panel. Zinzalin was just getting us warmed up all this time. We've got the real battles to take care of after this, so I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon first. Thanks to the doctor. Alright guys, I cut back up here because I kind of struggled to get back up with that pipe maze. But anyways, um, next time we are going to be stepping on this war panel and seeing what Team Plasma has in store for us on the other side. What is their last stand of defense before we can finally take Kyurem out of their hands? I don't know, man. I've never played this game before or anything. So we'll find out in the next video. Um, thank you all for watching. And subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Leave a comment letting me know what your favorite kind of peanut butter is. I like creamy better than crunchy, personally.